Hey guys, it's Spaces Sins, and we are back with more of my next life as a villainous knight of hair in my mouth. That's really fucking weird. Okay, glad to share that. It was like, oh god, right as I was talking. Anyway. Uh, so, I think we're at the end. I mean, there's no more choices and there's no more chapters. Doesn't mean it's not another two hours worth of, like, shenanigans. But that could explain why, you know, they were like, so, oh, golly gee, guess we gotta give up. And it's like, um, what? Because that's a quote-unquote normal end. <laughs> guess. Doesn't make sense, but sure. Okay. But yeah, there, I mean, I, I, so I don't know. All I know is when I scrolled up, I was like, there's no more chapters. So it could be the end. Maybe this is the last part. Who knows? We'll see. So. When we arrive at the beach, we find the Knights of Quid have already come ashore. The pirates are being rounded up. The Vinculum's also anchored nearby, and the pirates on board are being captured. Now, hey, not so rough. Quiet your mouth. Now move. Now, the pirates are all being captured. I get the feeling I'm party to something incredible. For some reason, Silva just waves at me and grins. <laughs> See ya, Katarina. Take care. Huh? Why me? Well, you're such a unique noblewoman, that's all. It was interesting meeting you. This job is pretty fun. What did he mean by that? No talking! Now hurry up and move! Yeah, yeah. So bossy. Silva mumbles as he walks, arms tied in rope. I kind of love him for, like, just the pirate being the pirate character, because you'd think the pirate character would actually be slightly trash, and he's just comedic gold. And I mean that in the sense of, like, he's just as, like, adorably fluffy as everybody in this game. Like, it's not even like, oh, he's a little rough, and it's like, nope, he's, like, chasing after us, and he's like, okay, he hit Keith. But, like, <laughs> I mean, Frederick's been more trash than the pirate, which is kind of impressive. The Vinculum's passengers have been temporarily evacuated. Everyone seems relieved and overjoyed to be rescued. Phew! Finally, we're safe! At long last, we can return to Sorcier! Oh, right. The Quidian Knights have captured the pirates, so that means we can go home! As I conclude, I hear a familiar voice. Hey, Katarina! Now we, we, now we have the right person for the voice that we did wrong last time. Razi? I'm so glad you're okay. <laughs> My eye was threatened by the pirates and forced to help them. I'm so glad you're all safe, Katarina. Wow, so you weren't working with the pirates. You just happened to be a dude on the ship. Okay. I mean, as far as we know, for now. Well, I don't know that I would describe it as doing well. But it's true we're unharmed and going home. But why would a Quidian ship suddenly arrive on this deserted island? Oh, I managed to secretly send a distress call from the emergency transmitter. Well, this island's near Quidian waters, so they sent the knights to assist us. I see. Good boy! There was another one of those emergency transmitters in Set's room, too. But wasn't Set saying it didn't work? Well, he did say there was one on the bridge, so Rosy probably used that one. Rosie's an engineer, so he should know how to work those devices. I guess Set really just didn't know. That's an old Gramps, after all. He probably had no idea what to do with the strange machine. Oh my god. Uh, Boomer Grandpa over here doesn't know how to turn on a computer. Give me a... <laughs> there are still some things which feel off. But everyone's safe, so I guess it's fine. No, there's a lot of shit that feels off, and it's like... All right, the pirates, they were kidnapping Maria, but we don't know why. And then they're going to be like, ha ha, we'd have gotten away with it too if it weren't for you silly kids. And then everyone's fine. And then the pirates are like, well, I guess we're getting arrested now. And then, the, and it's so wrong and weird. <laughs> but I think I, I, I don't know if I, how I would feel if it just ended like that. Would I be like, the fuck? I think part of me would be like, like, if it just ended now, like this, I'd be like, the fuck? But also, it makes sense. It's like an ending, and you're like, okay, and nothing got wrapped up because it's really not the main plot. You know what I mean? Like, it's just a random ending. <laughs> you know? It'd be 
you're like, so many plot holes. Huh. But that's typical kind of game logic. Like, there's always an ending. A bad ending or something where you don't figure out all the plot holes. And this, you're like, yeah, we got an... It's not a good end, I guess. But it, there's so many plot holes. But I guess it's not important. Because that's not the main point of the game. You know? The main point of the game is romance and a dude. This is just random. So it's like... This is almost like a random bad ending. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, so I kind of think it'd be brilliant for them to leave it all plot holy and making no sense. But I'd also be like, what? I hope that's what they're doing. Like, I mean, I would assume that's what they'd be doing if it ends like this. Because otherwise, the hell? <laughs> anyway. And there are a number of things I'm unconvinced of. But I've no doubt it'll all come to light after Quid looks into it. Once we return to Sorcier, I'll organize a joint investigation. Yeah, that would be best. By the way, we left Lord Norden and his ilk behind there. Was that the right thing to do? Eh, just leave them, they'll be fine. Oh? What about the Premier? Oh, well, he kidnapped Maria and was acting all weird, so he sort of knocked him unconscious. L Lady Katarina! Nothing weird. I was only kidnapped. Um, suddenly attacked us, so we had no choice but to knock him unconscious. He's in a hut deeper on the island. We can take you to him. Oh, right. That'd be helpful. Uh, right. Even with the circumstances, knocking out the Premier of Quid might not have been the best idea. But with Jordo and the others here, I'm sure things will turn out fine. Rousey, a few knights, and the guys head into the forest. Those of us left behind look at each other and then to the sea. How about we play on the beach until everyone returns? Huh? The beach? We came all the way to this deserted island. It'd be a waste not to enjoy it. This is our friendship ending. Wait, Maria, are you still feeling ill? Maybe we should check in with the Vinculum ship doctor first. No, I'd love to play on the beach with you, Lady Katarina. Maria smiles at me with the cutest smile in the world. I can feel myself bursting with happiness. Can I get a CG? I gotta sneeze. We got a CG, and I now I no longer have to sneeze. Then Maria, Mary, Sophia, let's commemorate our rescue with some games. Follow me. All right. I reach out my hand, and Maria cautiously grips it. The hand of a best friend. The hand of someone I care deeply about. I'm so deeply thankful we could protect this hand. Maria is still with us. Oh, Lady Katarina, wait for me! Please hold my hand as well! Lady Katarina, please hold my hand too! Mary and Sophia both pull on my arm. <laughs> so cute. There was a possible doom flag from the Atome game Fortune Lover. The fanbook mentioned a chapter cut from the game where the ship transporting Katarina into exiles attacked and sunk by pirates. Well, our ship didn't sink and the pirates are caught. So it was just a regular old dream. The doom flag has been avoided. All because I managed to arrive at the friendship end of Fortune Lover. We really are at the friendship end, so I think that's kind of funny. Is that really the actual end? Okay, I was like, if that's the fucking end, I might just have to edit parts together. Look, everyone! A crab's walking! A crab! Lady Katarina, if you get too close to the shoreline, your dress will get wet. Then let's check out the communal bath on the vinculum together. The communal bath? With Lady Katarina? We can go to the pool and the library, too. We didn't get to enjoy them enough because of the pirate attack. Just you wait, you luxury ship! Our extended spring vacation's not over yet. I have no doubt I'll enjoy every moment with everyone until we get back to Sorcier. Wow, so glad I didn't meet my doom. I embrace the feeling of freedom under the wide open sky. Looking up, there's nothing but blue as far as the eye can see. And with that, this bizarre pirate incident comes to a close. It really was not even ten minutes. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, shit. I gotta turn the volume completely off because I can't skip this. <laughs> Um. <laughs> you know what though? <laughs> like, 
I um I'm just like looking at the CGs and like Chairwoman, Tyramid, Fearless, wow. Oh, I think they say something about like her probably when there's choices like her in the Katarina Council or whatever, so there's obviously different personalities. That's funny. So then I would guess the voice actress probably puts on different effects, like in her voice for those. That's interesting. Um I was wondering no, it's kind of the music might have been okay. There's no lyrics to it or whatever, but um well, it says there's an ending theme, but there actually aren't any lyrics. I'm like waiting for them to pop up, but there's not. Unless there's no lyrics because I turned the voice acting off. Because I think it said Mao sings the theme song also does a voice for one of the... So maybe... That's interesting, because you wouldn't think that that would affect the end theme. But anyway, I don't know. Um, but, you know, it's it's a shorter part, because it's the end, and that's usually what happens. There are no, at least bad endings, in this common route. I think it's funny, this route unlocks two CGs. It locks a, a ton. I'm assuming it's because if you, say, go to through Jordo's route, you're doing a lot of this already. You know what I mean? Okay. I just figured the common route. You should do the common route first, but apparently not. You know what I mean? Because I just, I want to see. Okay, yeah. So chapter three, you get into the Jordo route, and then there are save files, and that goes chapter seven. There's other multiple. He's got, we got good ends, another end, a good end, and a doom end. So, okay. So those are going to take a little bit longer. This is like the super short. Um, yeah, you cannot save during the voting session of the five Katarinas. So, okay, whatever that is. Like, we'll see. That's where she does all the other voices. But uh, let's go to special. So it'll be a really short. Oh, we can't unlock them. Let's see, I guess. So we do have, we didn't get any Keith CGs. We got a Jordo one. Yeah, I mean, tech, it says it unlock. Well, I get a guess because, oh, what's this one? Is that the finish CG? Like, um, please tell me that this is the one. Okay, not at Y. Show variation is A. Okay, I want to see. I want to see if this is one that does what I like it. You know, no. If you've been here before, you know, if you're new here and this is your first game, I really fucking hate it when you hit the A button and when it gets to the end, like there's three versions of this. When it gets to the end, it goes, it treats it like the back button. I'm like, no, no, I just want you to keep looping through. So it's like, oh, there's three. Okay, we've seen them all. Then I can, I don't like it when it takes me out. All right. So this is our little chibi. I love the fact that we get the chibi sprites. That's what I hate. I hate it, guys. I hate it. Don't do that. That's bad coding work. I hate that. I hate it. Or at least give me a little counter in the corner or something. So I know because what I want to do is go through. And when I hit the third one, either it doesn't go anywhere or it comes back to the first one. So then I know I click my little right trigger and then we go here and we see the next CG. I do not fucking like that. A is treated like the back button. Don't do it. Hate that makes me so mad it is the one of the biggest pet fucking peeves of playing atome games aside from giant saucer eyed main characters we've been doing good with those lately but like oh it makes me so mad because i don't want that's what i don't want because then you have to go back in and like oh. you know everybody in their baby okay there is a variation oh right when you turn on the charm I don't know. No, there's not. God damn it. All right. Only that other one has two. Okay. And that's what I hate too. I just don't want to, you know what I mean? I, it just takes me out. It's not as fun. Like flipping through or like you click it and it doesn't go anywhere. You're like, oh, okay. Then you click the next button. And this is how I just want it to be like a slideshow that we flip through. I don't want to go back. And then I click the next one and then I go back and then I click that. I don't like that. It takes me out. It's not as 
immersive. So it's bad code work to do it the way that they do it like this. And I hate it so much. Giant pet peeve of mine. Like A button and I see brushing. I click the A button and either nothing happens or it loops back to the first one. And then I just know, and then we click here. Oh, and then that's it. That's the way it should be. Don't piss me off. I don't know why it triggers my rage. It really does. And I think that, yeah, that is the last one. We got one with Jordo, but I'm not going to like go to that one because we'll see it when we go through his CGs and stuff like that. But we got our first ending. Woohoo! It's going to take us longer to do Jordo's route. I'll have to see where I am because I think this one has only been like what? What are we? Is this like maybe the eighth part? I'm not sure. Let's see. Yeah, this is only the eighth part. So we've only got like. So I don't know how that's going to work out. Oh, I forgot to turn the volume back on. Guys. Okay. That might be a little loud, but that's okay. There we go. Um. I don't know. I haven't paid attention and I've only processed like two of these. So yeah. Um, I don't know if I'm going to record Jordo's route right after this. I was expecting like the common route will do the common kind of stuff. And then I was like, Oh, this ended really fast. A lot faster than I expected to be fair, but you know, I'm not mad about it. It gives you, I actually, I kind of don't mind this. I think this gives you a nice little like, peek into the game to kind of just meet all the characters and stuff like that you get your normal ending and i would much rather have done this first like oh we got our little friendship and cute now let's de delve into romancing our boyfriends as opposed to we romance our boyfriends and then like then there's just this at the end like i feel like this was a better introduction to the game type of a thing where you're not really romancing anybody so um but yeah so I don't know how it's going to go. I'll have to see where we're tied up on this one, like in tandem with the other game I'm recording. Like, oh, yeah, no, they're even. OK, I can do one or oh, no, we're still that one's way like a week or more ahead. I can record some of Jordo's route. I don't know. Uh, I'm actually really ahead on both right now. I've been taking my leisure ass time recording this one. Like most days I record one part. I usually get two to three done a day because I'll do it at lunch. I've been going for walks at lunch. Um, and then in the afternoon, I'll record a part or two. And now I'm like, record a part in the afternoon. And I'm like, eh, it's good enough. Very lazy lately. But I think it's because I'm so far ahead. So I don't feel like the panic. I'm like, it's cool. We just record a part. I could just chill. Not that I have anything to do otherwise. I sit downstairs and I'm like, I'm bored. <laughs> oh, good God. I didn't make it make sense, guys. I don't know. But anyway, um... So yeah, I mean, for you guys, whether I record instantaneously tomorrow or the ne or whatever, the next thing we will be doing is starting Jordo's route. Uh, so we'll probably be skipping a lot in the beginning because it's going to be the same first couple chapters. We'll probably just, the first part will be skipping mostly and then just choosing the things that work for him. So, fine. Um, I wonder if when you're skipping, it stops at the memory selections. Because I wonder how you... You know what? Hold on. Is there a way to... You can't... That's just the gallery. Oh, you can see the memory. Okay. All right. So if for some reason... Oh, you have to scroll all the way down. Okay. All right. So if we for some reason miss them... Why does it... Why does it show Maria... Oh, oh, so, okay. I got selfishly sought happiness and happily loving someone mixed up in my brain. Like the titles. Okay. So we can do this and then we can go back. I'm not going to read them again, but I don't know why it says new because we read them. But at least if we miss them, they are somewhere. Like. I just don't want it to say that it's new. You know what I mean? Because they're not new. And I want to set it up for if we, for some reason, miss one. Like when we're going through Jordo's route and we skip for some reason. I'm like, ah, shit, it didn't stop. And I, whatever, then we know to look for the ones that are labeled as new that we haven't read. You know what I mean? We've only done four, so we did this Jordo one too. 
I'm gonna assume that the game will stop on those. I don't know, but uh, we'll find out. So anyway, um, that was that. So we just marked all those. So and then they're ending list. Oh, look at that. Oh, we've only gotten one of twenty-five. Oh, okay. This one flips pages. Okay, that it's weird because the memory scenario doesn't flip. You have to scroll, but the ending flips like it's a bit bizarre. Okay, consistency, consistency game. Anyway. Don't get me wrong, I do like this one with it, all of our boyfriends, but not really all our boyfriends. You know? But we got our friend ending, so our lady friends deserve to have a... I don't know what I meant. I was trying to hide this. Anyway, so, Jordo's route will be next, because that's in the recommended... The soft recommended order um, develop, that the developers recommend, which is in Otome Kitten's Guide, so that's what we'll be going with. So, anyway... I will see you guys next time and see that made me, we stretched it out to 20 minutes. <laughs> Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.